Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 5th, and today was a beautiful day outside, a little bit of rain here and there, but nothing major. Um, got up this morning, got woke up pretty early, um, the puppy decided he wanted to start whining, you know, making a bunch of noise and all that fun stuff, and woke up early. So I got up, um, got him out, got him potty, that kind of thing and stuff and whatnot. And one of the things he wants to do, as soon as he hears um, Bruce up and moving around or any of the dogs in the house, he starts going crazy so he wants to get out and play. Um, he's in the crate. He's still, that's what they want him at night because he'll tear up everything and whatnot. So um, got him out and instead of letting him play because I was like, this ain't playtime. This is where we go potty. So I put him on the leash, took him outside, and I made him mad because he was like, I want to play. So I went ahead and got him back in, um, gave him a little treat, put him back in the crate, and went back, tried to go back to bed. Got a, I think I did fall back asleep. I know I fell asleep long enough because I had a crazy nightmare that was just, I had a weird ass nightmare, but it is what it is. So I got to sleep at least a little bit. Got up, um, got around, got some things done, got outside, played with the dogs, and kind of just messed around for the morning a little bit. Um, got them, got the puppy wore down, just kind of played with him enough to wear him out a little bit, I think. Came back in, got the dogs, you know, situated and whatnot. I had to run over um, to New Smyrna to um, play with some cats, feed them, water them, all kind of stuff. Open up the front door so they have light because there's like the storm door. It has a lock and the inside door. They want the inside door open so they can see people walking in the street and whatnot. The lady's um, very um, concerned about her two cats and whatnot. And she actually booked me for a full hour um, visit there and whatnot. So I got I basically go and I just turn on something on Netflix and sit in the chair and use a laser pointer and then some different cat toys and cats are warming up to me slowly but they're getting used to it. Play with them for a while and stuff. Got some belly rubbing in on the one. Um, play with the other one for quite a bit. Give them food and water, clean the litter boxes, all the stuff that has to be done. And then from there, um, Karen was out with the other dog. Um, so she came back to the house. We hung around a little bit. Um, went and did a little riding around. Looked at a couple yard sales on the motorcycle. And then headed over. Um, checked out another house that we were looking at. Um, it's, I don't know, it is what it is. It's a nice house without putting an offer on it. And go from there. We'll see what happens in the whole process. But... Um, went ahead, got back home from the viewing of it, found out there was an open house there tomorrow, which would have saved the agent the time of driving down for it, but it is what it is. So went ahead, um, hung around a little bit. Um, Karen had to head up to her dad's um, to go do his shopping and stuff and get his meds and all right for the week. So she headed back out to the house to do that. Um, she was able to um, stop back by, walk the dog again and stuff, make sure he's noon, lunch, and meal, because he's three meals a day. He's got a stomach issue. So he got his third, his second meal for the day and stuff. She headed up to her dad's house, came back there, um, hung out the house the rest of the day and whatnot. Um, I ended up back here after playing with the cats, played the dogs outside a good chunk of the day because um, that's just the puppy needs to be outside more where he can chase lizards and he can, you know, play with different toys and stuff, play a little bit of fetch. He's more of a chase and chew up less than a fetch. So I just, I get a few different toys and then I'll throw them. Once you get done with one, I'll throw another one in the other direction, make him run across there and stuff. Um, ended up finding a big limb that I cut off the tree a while back and I was chasing around. So he was like chasing like a cat would chase, which he lives in a house with cats. So I think he needs to spend more time with dogs to learn how to be a dog because he goes off the end of my deck and like he pounces. Like he jumps up as high as he can, lands on the bottom on the ground. Just silly, silly stuff. Acting more like a cat than a dog. So it was cracking me up. But hung around there for the day. Um, basically kind of chill a little bit got my run in and stuff of course actually i guess what i went back to um play with the cats in the evening and then close up the actual door of the house and stuff and whatnot put on a um movie i found the longest movie netflix has which is the irishman so i stuck it on so the cats had like three and a half hours of sound in there so it kind of you know their spectrum i guess times out once you just put a channel on and leave it on it, has, it times itself after a while so i thought netflix would be the best choice to let it just play through for the movie so it still had some sound as long as it could um, from there, hung out with the cats and stuff, came back to the house, um, hung out with the dogs again outside, blah, blah, went for my run, got back, got cleaned up, got a shower and stuff, ended up out here outside in the patio, just chilling out, it's nice weather, a um, little bit of rain off and on today, it sprinkled here and there a little bit, nothing major, <coughs> I was able to get a few things accomplished, nothing real important, uh, just kind of chilling out, ended up getting in a um, electric dish thatcher that I ordered, it's like a, imagine like a push mower, but it's like wire bristles and stuff, like little, um, knives that cut in the ground to dethatch the grass hoping to get some of my grass out front especially to be able to take some new seed and maybe grow a little better and make my yard look a little bit nicer than what it is right now so the one i really wanted i was back ordered through like the end of july if then so i just ordered the second best one i could find and we'll see how it works out and hopefully it does the job it doesn't need it it's not a real hard job it has to do so and it was a little bit cheaper than what i wanted and if it completely sucks and doesn't do the job at all i will send it back 
you know, and get my money back, then wait for the new one to come in, the better one to come in, and go from there. But went ahead, got the box in. I haven't put it together or nothing yet. I gotta assemble it. It comes like a little box about the size of a microwave oven, and so it has to be assembled and whatnot. But got a few things here done. I decided I forgot to eat all day, so I ended up uh, had a fish meal I bought that I realized I forgot Karen wasn't gonna be around, so I ended up baking it up in the oven. Uh, had myself some um, fish and broccoli and all the vegetables and potatoes and stuff and usually we split it amongst the two of us so it was all me so I ended up eating more than I probably should have so I kind of got that little bit of a um, stuffed belly feeling but hung out here um, while I went to bed I was super tired and just couldn't get to sleep once I got in there just could not fall asleep which is how it happens to me quite a bit so put the puppy back, back in the crate so he could go to bed for the night and then of course little Yorkie wants to be in the bed with me and she just kind of chills out she's a good dog she'll end up down on my feet sometimes sometimes up by my face you know kind of wherever she wants to be so I always wear I'm going to roll over and like crush her and stuff, but she's pretty good about moving, so not really an issue there. But anyway, oh, I also had a um, gentleman that I had bought some vending machines off of a while back and basically sold me some money for some stuff that wasn't quite right and whatever and whatnot. And he reached back out. He turned off Facebook and all that kind of stuff, turned off his phone, and he couldn't get a for a while. And I was just like, well, he owes me money. He's just avoiding me, whatever, so we'll just let it go. And then he hit me up on messengers, like, hey, what's your number and stuff? I'm like, why? What do you remember for? Like, I, you know, basically, you completely fucked me over. I'm not giving you a chance to do this again kind of thing. We got chatting and stuff, and he said I went through a really rough patch, and he's trying to make things right and whatever and whatnot. So we kind of text back and forth a little bit, and I told him, I said, you know, basically, I said, you can pay me back the money you owe me, or you don't. I don't care. Paying me money will not make us right. You know, will not make us friends again kind of thing. Um, that's going to take a while because I'm not good about when somebody just, you know, completely screws me over and lies to me multiple times. I do not, um, I'll forgive that quickly. Like, I don't give a shit. That's on you. You know, the damage that that does of you screwing me over will cause you way more pain than the fact that you screwed me out of a few hundred bucks will ever do in my life. It won't do shit for me. So, but I said, if you want to make amends, feel free. Here's my PayPal, you know, go from there. And then, you know, I'll once I decide I want to try and let you back in my life and try and be friends with you and kind of give you some advice and tips and kind of help guide him into being a uh, better man I guess in the world instead of the crap he was going through so we'll see um, I told him I said I just figured you got hooked on drugs or some shit or became an alcoholic or whatever and stuff because I've never done drugs and I'm like okay that's just what my guess was so I assumed that you became a little meth head or something is what the process was and I was straight up I've never been nothing but 100% honest with him and I basically the texts are not, they're not pretty. They're basically, you know, I kind of told him that he was a real piece of shit and, you know, he needs to get himself right and to make himself, you know, have a better chance at life throughout everything and not just this. So we'll see what happens with that whole thing. And who knows, I figure I'll give him another chance because I'm willing to give everybody another chance, you know, and see if he's, you know, getting his life together and wants to start, um, I guess, owning his own shit, you know, kind of thing. So We'll see. Um, hopefully it goes well. Hopefully he's doing better. Hopefully he gets his life figured out and moves on and everything goes well for him. So, But yeah, um, that was pretty much my day. So that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.